Hi guys, welcome back to the channel. So today we're going to give you an update on the informal settlements in Cooper's Pen Trelawney. Now we've made a few videos of the Cooper's Pen area in Trelawney and we've commented about the area around the hotels. How we even did a video recently where we compared Cooper's Pen to Negril saying in front of the hotels in the grill you don't have these kind of makeshift shops etc so the government announced that they have served an eviction notice on persons who are occupying government lands so we're going to go through an article that gives more information on what is happening in Cooper's Pen. So what happened was Rio was building a massive hotel in Cooper's Pen. Massive hotel. Cooper's Pen is actually the fastest growing tourist area in Jamaica. You don't find a 10 or 20 room hotel. You find a hotel with hundreds of rooms down there. Massive, massive structures. And that hotel went up in record time. They had over 700 workers working at the hotel. We have videos up, you can check it out. And we always commented, I've never seen so many workmen on a work site in Jamaica before. So when you have 700 workers, they have to live somewhere, they need to eat, so you have shops going up, you have structures going up for people to sleep in. And a lot of government land is there, so a lot of informal settlements were built to accommodate the building of the hotel. Now the government didn't really do anything to interfere with it because it was for the building of the hotel and the workmen came. But now the hotel is finished and the government is saying to the people you have to leave the government land and destroy the structures that you put up. So residents who have set up an informal settlement on government land lands in Cooper's Pentrilani have been served notices to demolish the dwellings and relocate. Now about two weeks ago the structures in front of the entrance to the Rio Hotel were demolished. It wasn't any excitement because I think everybody knew the structures were temporary. There is no way you could have these structures in front of the hotel and the hotel is getting ready to open. So those were the structures directly in front of the hotel. That was about two weeks ago. But the, the notice had been given to the other structures now along the strip and we will give you a video with the actual footage of the area actually we have many videos up you can check it out cooper's pen fastest growing tourist area in jamaica or the opening of the rio hotel but we will give you an update video in a few days we're just giving you the update we're trying to keep you guys up to date with the latest news that's going on in Jamaica so that's why this footage is from driving from Innswood to Gutters but this is just to give you the latest update in a timely manner but we will give you the actual footage in a few days okay so superintendent in charge of the Trelawney police Winston Milton stated that the occupiers were mainly employed during the construction phase of the Rio Palace Aguilera Hotel during the construction, 700 people from across Jamaica were employed. Now that the hotel is open, these construction workers must seek permanent homes or go back to their original place of residence. And then they go on to state it has to do with sanitary reasons. The Trelawney Health Department wants the people to relocate. And the police said they are very aware of what can happen if this area is left to grow and unfortunately you have a lot of criminality in when you have increases in formal settlements according to the police 
so basically the police serve the notice on the people and I guys what do you think what do you think will happen out here I think the people will relocate because as the police said they came for the building of the hotel and the hotel is built so there isn't really any business for them in the area to keep them there so I think they will relocate and this is a tourist area so they are not going to let these informal settlements stay so guys let me know what you think leave your comments in the section below and look out for the follow-up video sometime next week all right guys leave your comments in the section below have a good day